When you finish praying, no result. Are you not bothered? You need to, you need to do what works. They tell you by this time tomorrow, and by this time tomorrow, it didn't happen. Some things can never be by this time tomorrow. It, it might have to take seven months. It might have to take seven weeks. Some prayers is not 30 minutes. Some prayer is all night. See, don't overestimate yourself. Be humble. The Bible said that before Jesus did many strategic things in his life, he prayed all night till the morning and chose his apostles. And then you want to make a strategic business decision and you just pray for 15 minutes and search online and then you went and bought your goods. That's why you are having problems. The next time, what do you do? This is my message. is hard. I know. There is no other way or that you. Mm. As, as you are not happy, God is happy in heaven. He's saying, my son, he's saying it well. <laughs> as I'm striking you, bah! and he's paining you, God is happy. Because his medicine, bitter helps. That helps. That's what can cure you. That's what can cure you. And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men what? Ought. All the story that is coming after it is just story. He is just trying to tell you the, the whole essence of the story is, is to teach you a lesson. What's that lesson? That men ought always to pray and not to faint. Somebody met me and said, I have prayed and this thing did not go. I have prayed. I asked the person, what do you exactly mean by I have prayed? What's the meaning of I have prayed? He told me I pray 30 minutes sometimes and I pray one hour sometimes. <laughs> I said, I, I. It was Edward McHenry Bounds that said, prayer that cannot move your heart cannot move God's heart and certainly his hand cannot move. You are praying, you are still distracted. You are praying, you are thinking about your goods that is coming tomorrow. You are praying, you are thinking about food. You are praying, you are thinking about the next hair you are going to put. You are praying, you are... Mm, that kind of prayer cannot move the heart of God because your heart has not been moved. That's why we grow in the way we grow. So that somehow our heart will shift. Have you heard of John Welch? John Welch. They said that John Welch prayed until... His heart left the anatomical side of the left and entered the right. John Welch. If we go to heaven and say we, oh God, we tried. John Welch will come and stand as a witness. And a day came I prayed until my heart shifted. Have you heard of John Hyde? The praying John Hyde. They, they said that he stained his walls with prayer. What of Babalola? He brought into stones with his knees. Have you gone to, to the mountains of South Korea? The ones that Young Cho built. If you enter into the prayer, there are prayer chambers. Man has brought into it. They are looking for God and you pray for 15 minutes. You say you are praying. For men ought always to pray and not to faint. It means that the only time you are permitted to stop praying is the day that result came. Why are you stopping? Come to your neighbor and say, why are you stopping? <laughs> I will pray. <laughs> A man weak in prayer is weak everywhere. I don't care the, the, the seeming sense of strength that you have. If you are weak in prayer, you are weak everywhere. In fact, the number one problem of the body of Christ can be traced to our prayer lives. A man will finally become what he's praying. The content of your prayer. Your life will finally become the content of your prayer. The way you are, are you getting the point I'm making? You will finally become, you will, the, the foundations and pillars and structures of your life will finally take the shape of your priesthood. 
lift up your hands and say, Jesus, help me to pray. If a man can pray, ah, this case, the scripture is speaking about a woman that is disadvantaged. And you need to know that the scenario is painted in such a way that all disadvantages is coming upon the woman. If you look all around, there is no help. And it's not just there is no help. It was a woman. And it's in the days that women are not put in the number. They are not counted. They don't, women don't vote those days. And the scripture had the audacity to say that this woman laid hold on what she wanted. Hi. The Bible said for men ought always to pray. I will pray with every breath that I have. If I greet you good morning, the next minute I will do rap at the boss. If you eat with one spoon, the way you digest it is If you sleep in the night, you wake up, you know, sometimes you turn five times or ten times before daybreak. If you turn this side, you release tongues. You turn this side, you release. For men, ought always to what? Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Don't say you have prayed. You have not. Do you know what is prayer? Prayer is not measured necessarily in hours. It's measured by incense. Wait. There is a way you pray. You suffocate the inner chambers of heaven. It, it is a pungent concussion. It is the work of the apothecary. You are a pharmacist here. Raise your hand. Uh-huh. You know what? You know, pharmacognosy. Prayer is like that. Because you are a pharmacist, you must pray. Because prayer is akin to the work of a pharmacist. You go there, you, you bring a leaf. It's a leaf that you brought home. But by the time you are through, it becomes something potent and pungent. Huh? Pharmacog ph um, there is the one. Cology. Cognosy, remind me another one. Cetix, remind me another one. Cetico, my God. Just because you are looking for drug. Eh? So sometimes we come and you want to make progress in the spirit. And probably you started with worship song. Worship, um, was, give me one foreign worship song. Give me one now. Somebody help me. I'm, I'm on, eh? I just want to be where you are. Dwelling there. And the demons and witchcraft will stay like this. You sing it for 30 minutes. The, the heaven is locked. Eh? Until you turn. You say, Satan is in trouble. Oh. <laughs> and grow. Pow! Do you know why? Listen. Do you know why? It's the work of the apothecary. You need to know what can work in this situation. That the heavens have not been cracked. And you want to relax. If it's that everybody likes sweet prayer, you just pack one side and be saying, Even me, I like it. Just that my destiny is heavy. I need to go and buy heavy duty generator. So that when we own it like this, we plug everything, plug your eye on, plug everything, and then I will carry all of you out between like this. I don't like, you see, you see that generator called I pass my neighbor. Don't buy it because it represents something weak in the spirit. If you carry your electric ion that is 2000 watts and put on it, it will be doing. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Meanwhile, there are generators you bring. If you put, if you put ten four horsepower units, ten horsepower units of AC, the thing will just be smiling. It will just carry it and be smiling. It will be, the sun will even balance. It will be doing. Boo. Do you know what? It, it has grown in this minute, and it has trapped every matter. For men, ought always to pray. It is the work of the apothecary. A hurry. There are days you will appear and the demand is to chant in the spirit. Eh? So you sing that song. Listen to me. 
There is a song my brother sang. We chant in the Holy Ghost. Ha! Ha! We chant in the Holy Ghost. Ha! Ha! We chant in the Holy Ghost. Ha! Faster beat. Ha! We chant in the Holy Ghost. Ha! Ha! We groan in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Ah. We groan in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Ah. We groan in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Ah. We groan in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Somebody release a little in the spirit. Just a little. We pray in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Ah. We chant in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Ah. We call in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Thank you. 